Hello, I'm Sarah Tahiri reporting for Treatment Strategies from EuroPCR 2013 here in Paris. So let's start. Tell me a little about biosensors. So we've been, we've been involved for about 12 years in interventional cardiology, but it's really in the last five years with Biomatrix and the publications of leaders that we've really come into the forefront and now are a major, a major force in interventional cardiology and a major part of PCR. So PCR, the world's largest interventional cardiology event, what does PCR mean to biosensors? We share a common philosophy. The whole PCR idea from John Marco in the very beginning was patient benefit and education and dissemination of educational clinical studies that help patients. And that's exactly the same philosophy that we have. This year we have 32 presentations. So I think that the relationship between PCR and biosensors, we share a common philosophy. In addition to that, both companies are really focused outside the US. We're focused in Europe and Asia and Middle East and Latin America. And that's the same as PCR. So we, we not only share a, a philosophical agenda, we also share a geographical agenda. Specifically, what are Biosensors activities here this week at PCR? Well, this week our, our theme is raising the standard. Last year, we presented the five-year data on, on the leader study on Biomatrix, showing it as the gold standard in, in DS10. This year, we're raising that standard. We have a follow-up publication to leaders which showed in a subset of, of CTO patients, these are complicated patients, even more benefit than we demonstrated in the original study. We also have a study with Comfortable. Now Comfortable is a study last year that was presented here where we showed that in STEMI patients, these are emergency patients, a DS was safer and more effective than a bare metal stent. Before that, the, the, the common knowledge was that a bare stent would be better to use in these patients. However, this study proved for the first time a DS was safer and, and more effective in these patients, and that took the percentage of the market that was DS from 50% to 60%, just because we could treat all these emergency patients. So certainly that was important. This week we also um, did our first release of the, of the eBiomatrix registry. And the important thing about that is you always get a different result from a registry than you do from a prospective randomized study. Well, actually, we demonstrated that you don't, that the results are the same. So we validated the, the randomized study with the registry. And so we were able to show in a large patient population, you get the same good results. So I think you know, th this week is, has really uh, allowed us to demonstrate this clinical evidence that shows that our products help patients. Biosensors are sponsoring several sessions and symposiums this week at PCR. Can you give us a brief insight into some of these? I think, we, we sponsor, as you say, we have many symposiums that we're sponsoring this week. I guess the main one would be the Diverge five-year data, which we presented in our TNT symposium. And this was the first time that you had five-year data on over 500 patients on a bifurcated stent. So this is the largest body of data that anybody's able, been able to collect, and it's extremely positive data. So I think that was a very good session, and I think the whole theme of, of all our sessions, we're making them very interactive. So we left more time than usual for questions, of which there were many questions, because it's a, it's a complicated procedure. So I think um, you know, our focus this year has been to try to make it as interactive as possible, because we're at the point now where we're dealing with complicated issues. Duration of dual antibody therapy, complicated issue. Where you use bifurcated, dedicated stents and where you don't, complicated issue. And bleeding. Uh, I think, you know, in our symposium, we, we talked about uh, the, the global leaders, which was focusing on bleeding from a perspective of changing the drug. And we also have Leaders Free, which is another study looking at bleeding from, from changing the stent and the duration of dual antiplated therapy. So I think um, in, interactivity and, and raising the standard of interaction between physicians and industry. What is the message you would like the attendees to take away from the symposium, biosensors, and EuroPCR 2013? I think the main message is that you know, we're very bullish on the individual ecology space and we're investing in it. We're, we're investing in many aspects. We're launching a product uh, here at, at this meeting this week, the NeoFlex, 
which is basically the, the, based on the data that we collected in leaders and published, uh, published in the Lancet, but in a more deliverable package. So we've improved the delivery system so the patient can benefit from this uh, biodegradable technology and albumin coating and the biolimus drug, of course. So I think that's the, the biggest thing we're launching this week is, is the, the Neoflex, which is the biomatrix in a more deliverable package. I think the other thing is, uh, when I mentioned that we're investing in enriched cardiology, we just bought a, a company last week that we've been partnering with for several years, and that company is called Spectrum Dynamics. Now, they have a really interesting technology that now is ours that could change the way interventional cardiology is practiced. Today, the big problem with interventional cardiology is 50% of the time a patient goes on to the cath lab table, they don't need to be there. Unfortunately, we don't know which 50% until we get them there. What this technology will do in a minimally invasive way, you sit in a chair, a screen comes over your chest, and it tells you whether you need to go to the cath lab or not. Not only that, the same image will tell you which vessel needs a stent and how many stents you need. So this allows us to, tell, to help choose patients that get on the table, to treat them better once they're on the table, and then six months, a year, two years later, we can also go back in a minimally invasive way, a screen comes over their chest, and we can say, how effective was that procedure we did six months or a year ago? So we're really vertically integrating the whole patient treatment process in interventional cardiology. Finally, as the president of Biosensors Cardiovascular Division, tell us a little bit about your focus for the future. We're very excited about the future. Uh, I think that you can expect a lot more of the same in terms of supporting clinical studies that demonstrate patient benefit, big studies like Global Leaders that, that focus on the benefits of dual antiplatelet therapy and bleeding, Global Leaders which also focuses on bleeding but from a different angle, from shortening the dual antiplatelet therapy, Comfortable which shows advantages in STEMI patients, Diverge which shows advantages in patients that have bifurcated lesions. I think you'll continue to see us bringing realistic, meaningful scientific data based on clinical best evidence that show patient benefit. We're going to continue to do that. We're also investing in new technologies that can help patients. I mentioned already Spectrum Dynamics, which will allow us in a minimal invasive way to find out which patients need to be on the cath table, how do we know exactly how to treat them in the most effective manner, and then how to measure afterwards that we did the right thing when we treated them and it worked. So certainly we'll continue to invest in those technologies. In addition to that, we have internal programs that are very exciting with drug-eluting balloons. I think new areas uh, of intervention that, that I can't really discuss yet because they're, they're so innovative. And also we'll continue to acquire uh, companies. Like we've done five acquisitions in the last few years, the latest being Spectrum. I think you can expect us to continue to find complementary technologies and acquire these companies and integrate them into the, the biosensors portfolio. So we're very excited about the future. And that's it from this year's EuroPCR in Paris. Thank you and goodbye.